Hi, I'm Jason, and in this video we're going to walk through the steps to use Disk Part to successfully clean, format, label and assign a drive letter using the command prompt. So why would we use Disk Part? Well, if you have an internal or external storage drive connected to your Windows 7, 8 or 10 PC, such as a USB flash drive or a hard drive or even an SD card that doesn't seem to be working properly, which can be for a number of reasons like data corruption, drive storage inaccuracies or other serious issues, many times the format tool may not be able to fix the problem. And this is when Disk Part comes in real handy. Disk Part is a powerful command line utility that's been around in the world of Windows for a long time. It allows you to manage storage devices, partitions and volumes with features that other tools such as Format or Disk Manager just can't fix. But the most important thing to note here is that using Disk Part will completely erase everything on the drive that you select. So it is crucial that we correctly choose the drive we want to clean and format so if you have any data on a drive you're about to use with this method you should always make a backup before proceeding. So the first thing I'm going to do is let me just take a quick look at my drives that I've got attached to this computer. So obviously we've got the C drive which has got the operating system I don't want to erase that. We've got a, a D drive, an E drive and we've got a flash drive which is a 64 gig flash drive plugged in as the F drive. The D, E and F, I'm happy to clean and format these drives because I'll be using them for another project after this video. So, that's what we've got. So, let's open up a command prompt by typing CMD. I'm going to right click and run it as administrator. And to start this off, we just simply type the command disk part and press enter. And then in order to list the disks that we currently have on this computer, I'm going to type list disk. And here we can see I've got disk 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now, just as a word of warning, don't just assume disk 0 is your C drive because it may not be the case. If I go back and actually look again at my drives, I can see that the overall size of my C drive is 119 gig, which is disk 1 on here. So be aware. So let's start off with a nice easy one. I'm going to choose disk 3, which I know is my 64 gig flash drive. So I'm going to select that disk by typing select disk 3 and press enter. So now we know we have disk 3, which is the selected disk. So first of all, I'm going to clean the disk. I'm going to type in clean and press enter. And then it tells me that disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. So I'm just going to double check that I still have disk 3 selected. So if I just type list disk again, we can see there that we've got a little asterisk next to disk 3. So I, I know I'm still on the selected disk 3, just to double check. So now I'm going to create a partition on that disk and I can do that by typing create partition primary and I'm going to press enter and it's created the partition. I'm going to select partition 1 and now we see that it is the selected partition. And now I need to activate that partition by just typing active. And now we can see the current partition is active. Now I'm going to format this with the uh, NTFS file system. And I'm going to give uh, this drive a label as well. So I'm going to type format space FS equals NTFS, that's the file system I want to create. And then a label is going to equal, let's call it flash. And I want it to carry out this format quickly, so I'm just going to type quick and press enter. And we can see now the percentage uh, which is completed within the format. And because this is going to be quick, 
it literally doesn't even give you chance to see the 100% it does it that quick. I now want to give it a specific drive letter I've called it flash so I'm going to assign the letter as F which I think was what it was before. Obviously something else to note here don't give it a drive letter that you know is being used by something else like a CD-ROM drive or maybe another drive that you currently have plugged into your system because that will cause a conflict. So let's press enter and this part successfully assign the drive letter or mount point. And then to come out of this part when we finish with it we can just simply type exit press enter and it's leaving this part. So if I close this box down now we can see when we go into our computer that we have a flash drive F which is fully formatted there's no data on it at all. So let's try that once more and this time we're going to do uh, uh, the D volume which is the 1.8 terabyte one so again we'll open up command we'll run it as an administrator we'll type disk part we'll list disk so the big one there, 1863 gigabytes, that's the one I want to concentrate on. So I'm going to select disk 0. And then I'm going to clean that disk. I'm going to list disk again just to make sure. Yes, we have got disk 0 selected. Then I'm going to create partition primary then I'm going to select partition 1 I'm now going to make it active and now I'm going to format the drive with NTFS I'm going to label this drive as uh, let's call it data and again we'll do a quick format. This might take a little bit longer because it's almost two terabytes oh, but it's done it. And I'll assign the letter D to it which is what it was before. And now I can exit, close this window and we can see the data drive D there. Let's just double check it under computer and there it is 1.8 one terabytes free fully formatted all done and that's as simple as it is so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one